Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create engraved uh, text in Katia V5. So it involves uh, basically the drafting workbench and the part uh, modeling. So this is a pretty easy technique to do. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So uh, let me just uh, close this. Alright, and uh, I'll just close all the windows. So to avoid the confusion. So let me just start off with the part design workbench. So in the part design workbench I'm gonna create uh, some uh, you know whatever you want to be as a basement. So I'll just give a thickness for this. So this is going to be the basement where your text is, text is going to come. Alright, now let's just uh, move back to your drafting workbench. So part design, no, alright, mechanical design. And then we have the drafting workbench. Just like the plane layout, alright. Now just go to the text icon and uh, click once. So the text editor, working with the text editor, everything related to that tutorial you can see in my uh, playlist. Uh, you have uh, detailed tutorials for the hum complete drafting workbench in my playlist. Alright, now I'm going to insert something. Uh, hello friends. Something like this. And I'll just uh, click on OK. So this particular text has uh, appeared over here. So the next thing you need to do is uh, if you really try to copy this down and uh, paste it to the part file, it's not going to come. Uh, this is this is where the, uh, most of the people do the mistake. So what we're going to do is this particular uh, uh, format doesn't embed with the part design workbench. So you're just going to go to the file save as and just uh, you know save the file uh, with some name. All right, uh, say hello friends. So that's going to be your file name and change the format to DXF. That's going to be a format. Right? So just save it down and just close this file <coughs> and open up that particular file there. Hello friends. So this particular component here is really uh, you know this particular component right here is is going to get embedded uh, with the uh, all right this particular component is going to get embedded with the part design workbench I mean the sketcher workbench so I've just uh, selected everything just selected and selected this way control uh, right click and just copy this down and come to the part design workbench and just select this and go to the sketcher and just put control V so you might not be able to see where exactly it is so you can just you know click over here to fit all in and you can see that it's really there now you can just drag and uh, pull it over here alright and if you want to increase the size of it you can really increase the size go to the geometry and you can see the whole geometry is selected Go to the scale option. Just give a scale for this. Put this as your base point. I just give a scale of uh, five or something. So five is too big. So just go once again here and uh, give a scale of two point five maybe. All right. So this is pretty good. So I forgot to. Uh, deselect the duplicate option so you can just uh, select it from here and delete All right now just come out of the sketch and you can really pad this so pad it to say you know, 5 or something so you can see your text is really engraved over here so say give of 2.5 maybe Right, this is the easy way of uh, engraving something uh, in the, uh, what do you say, the part design workbench. So you can all try this out. So this is uh, really not a big, uh, you know, really not a big, uh, uh, you know, tutorial. 
but this is really gonna help if you wanna put some uh, some name on your uh, model you can really do that this way so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this tutorial is gonna help you some ways uh, in some places and uh, thank you so much and let me know if you face any problem creating this and uh, you can comment on my video uh, just below my video and I'll be getting back to you and if you wanna uh, you know uh, ask me any doubts uh, with some reference file you can do that by writing to ktia.pro.user ctia.pro.user at gmail.com and that's all about um, and that's that's uh, all for this particular tutorial and I hope uh, you enjoyed thank you so much for watching stay tuned guys